This little game, reading game, it's very simple to make. I use little foam pieces. You can use paper or you can even use little plastic leftover lids from cans or things that you're not using and cut them out into little squares like this and write your sounds. So we're, this is a game focusing on the ah uh sounds. We'll put our two ah uh sounds here and our ow uh sounds. Now it takes practice, it takes memory to learn which words go with which sound. There isn't a specific rule for each one. Or there are a lot of exceptions to the rules in English. So it's a little bit tricky to learn. So I made this game for my little boy so that he could memorize which words go with which sounds for our awe and awe. So all I did is I took a film piece, I wrote up the with a permanent marker my, the sound we're working on, and then I used a piece of pipe cleaner. I used different colors for fun, and I also drew some little uh, pictures just with a normal, a regular pen and then this is with a permanent marker for example this is the word the a powder it's a little picture that I cut out and I punched a hole in the, on the top and there's a blank for one of these sounds so it's obvious it's an owl sound so he has to try and remember which owl sound goes for the word powder and if he gets it right if he remembers it he puts it he strings it through here same with the word flower. These are a few pictures, very simple little pictures and simple words. Here's paw, saw. And so we had to do this a few times for him to remember which picture goes to which word. But making it a picture game and a threading game, all to do with these sounds, helped him to remember and to grasp the letter sounds, the word, the right sounds for each word. So this is a fun little idea. You can do it with paper too. You can print out your own little pictures from Google. You just have to Google the pictures that you would like and then you just make your own little words and punch holes and put them through your uh, sound pipe cleaners. Have fun!